It's another edition of Hats Off America, America's Good Stories, this time from Minneapolis. I'm Bob Natoxon. This week, Minnesota remembers 9-11. From the shores of Lake Harriet's renowned Banshell, this year's memorial concert was a moving night of music and memories. Here's the evening's chairperson, Mary Helmbrecht. Music brings everybody together. It's a non-political, it's a non-religious thing that people can just feel the music, sing to it, not sing to it, listen to it, and they'll talk to each other. What a great night on a beautiful Minnesota evening. But the memory of that fateful, awful day on 9-11-2001 was not far from everyone's mind. It'll, I'll never forget it. I was working downtown Minneapolis at the time, and uh, I was in the medical arts building, and everybody was looking up at the monitors, and we couldn't, I couldn't figure out what was going on. I was up north, up at Lake Vermilion, in my friend's cabin with uh, seven other people. Our bridge club was up there, and no TV and no radio. I mean, it was a tough time in our office and our family for uh, uh, immediately after that, just coping with uh, what we saw and what we witnessed. I remember when uh, I was walking across the street and I heard that uh, President Kennedy had been assassinated. And I'll always remember that. And I will remember when the, uh, when the tragedy happens in New York, too. It's something that just gets burned into your mind. Life is a summation of many things. And this was a very big element in our lives, was this explosions that they could perfectly plan to hit that uh, a tower at the right height and get it to uh, crumble within itself. I mean... So a beautiful night for Minnesota's 9-11 tribute. A salute to everyone who helped put it all together. Honoring Old Glory, the Red, White, and Blue, the Stars and Stripes, whatever you want to call her. This has been Hats Off America.